Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part two of my WordPress plugin tutorial, where you'll learn everything you need to know to be able to create custom plugins inside of WordPress. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this top level sidebar button right here that's going to allow you to make custom changes to your settings. And I'm also going to show you how to make this sub menu item right here that's going to allow you to click on those and then take you to a settings page. I'm also going to teach you how to use the register settings function to be able to set widget options and so you'll be able to access them from anywhere. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how to create an install script that's going to set all of your default options that are going to be needed to use your plugin. So let's jump into the code. Okay, from the last tutorial, if you didn't see it, definitely look at it. We created all that you see right here. Well, now what I'm going to do is go in here, and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create an install script. We're actually going to do this before the widget area right inside of here, and it's pretty easy to do. All we're going to do is set some default variables so that we'll be able to go right out of the bat, and it's custom for WordPress plugins to have an install script just like this. So all you're going to do with this guy is come in here, and I'm using NTT because my website's New Think Tank, and there's a link to all of this code in the underbar by the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an array that's going to contain all the values that we're going to use with our plugin. So I'm going to have the title and just so you remember this is the widget that we created here that connects to RSS feeds, Twitter, and Facebook. Kind of simple but I wanted you to be able to understand how to create plugins so I wasn't looking to make something terribly complicated. And if you understand these basic concepts you'll be able to pretty much make anything you want. So we're going to say that I want follow me to be the default title and then I want to also create this variable that's going to contain the Facebook ID that I want to be able to link to and I'm just going to set that to none and then we're going to do the same thing here with the Twitter account so I'm just going to change this to Twitter right like that and then close this off and then what we're going to do is call update options which is a great function inside of WordPress it allows you to do exactly what I'm doing here and I'm going to create a function called NTT defaults and I'm going to store the array that I just created inside of it and that's it so you could do a lot more complicated things with an install script but this is definitely enough for what we're using right here so now I'm going to show you exactly how to create this little sidebar button right here inside of WordPress so I'm going to scroll way down to the very bottom of this script and I'm going to come in right here between our initialize function that I created here and create that sidebar button and how you do that I'm going to call function NTT social networks and I'm going to call this create menu this is extremely easy to do let's scroll up here okay so I'm going to tab in and I'm just going to use a function called add menu page and then what you do is you provide a title for the page that's going to open this guy up whenever it's clicked on and then you define what you want the button to be called and as you saw it's called NTT settings so that's what's going to be on that little label and then you have of management options and this is basically going to define who is able to edit this commonly we use administrator but because it isn't very important I'm just going to allow editors to be able to come in here and edit and change this little thing if they want to and then you're always going to type in file which is a reference to the actual script right here that we're playing with on the screen and then you have to define what function is going to be triggered whenever this button is clicked on this is going to be the settings page and that's it that's the whole entire thing that's all that you need to do to create that little sidebar guy and another thing you can do here is if you'd like to add a little icon I've created a little 18 by 18 pixel image and if I would want to have it show up in that little button I would type in plugins URL to point at the plugins folder again we talked about this in a previous tutorial and then go images and then point at your little icon would provide you with the option to go in there and put that in. So that's a little neat feature. And then you could close that off. And what's really cool is if you would want to actually come in here and create the sub menu now, you pretty much did. You just need to copy this and paste it in here. And I'm just going to call this sub menu. So this is a sub menu item. So I'm talking about this guy right here. This guy right here. We just created this guy. So if I want to create that sub menu, I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. I change this to sub. And then down here, I'm going to change this to options and that's going to make it show up under settings like I just showed you previously and then I'm going to leave everything else exactly the same except this is not an option you're not allowed to put a image inside of there and that is how you would create that and you would be able to put this underneath the settings area with options inside of here and if you'd want to put it under any of the other different things like dashboard or whatever you'd like I'll show you all the different ways you would change it you would just call a different function that's it everything else is identical so if you want to be under the dashboard you would just type in dashboard and if you'd want to be in here under posts just type that and if you want to be in under media just type in media you want it to be in underneath 
links, type in links. I think you're starting to get the point, except some of these are a little bit different. Pages are pages, yes, it's silly like that, pages, pages. Comments are comments. Then it's theme under appearance, so that's a little bit different. I don't know why they didn't just have it be that. And plugins, and then there's one more, and I'm just gonna type over here, this would be users. So you would just call these different functions inside of here instead of calling add options. And there you go, there's your submenu. So now I'll show you how to use register setting, which is a great function in WordPress that will allow you to save all your options for the widget so that they will be accessible from any other function inside of this guy. And I'm actually gonna put it up here right after the initialization area. And to be able to do that, you just go function NTT register options. That's what I chose to call this guy. You can call it whatever you want. And then what you want to do is call register setting. And then you're going to use the same thing to group all of these different variables together. So I'm going to call it network vars. Each one of these is going to have that same little thing. And then I'm going to define NTT title right like that. And then I can actually copy this guy. Remember, this groups all of these variables that are over here. So I just have to come in and change them. Facebook, Twitter. All right. So now all this can be accessible inside of WordPress. And I said I wasn't going to do the settings part, but what the heck, let's just do it. So what I'm going to have to do now is understanding that I have these guys set right here, and I want to be able to use them interchangeably with both the widget as well as my settings page. I have to come up here into the plugin, and again, there's a link to all this code in the underbar. It will probably help you understand a little bit better. But I have to come in here and actually change just a couple things inside of here. This guy right here, surprisingly enough, is not going to need to change. The constructor can remain exactly as it is. However, down here inside where we define our widget, we're actually going to need to change a couple things inside of here. And whenever I created these register elements, these guys right here, and I created those, how you actually get the value that is contained inside of them is you call something called get option. So what I'm going to do is actually call this get option and ask it what the title is and put that variable inside of there. So that's what needed to be changed there. And then what I'm gonna do is come in here and grab this guy and paste the same thing inside of there. Basically what this is saying, if you don't remember from the last tutorial, if there is a value here, use it. If not, use follow me. So it's pretty easy to understand. And then I just need to change all of these guys down here as well, easy enough, to use those same registered settings variable values that we defined way down below. And then I'm just gonna call this NTT Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, and then that's all set up, so we have to scroll down here. And inside of here, we're going to call NTT title. Now, instead of the regular title, because that's what I called it up here. So I have to change that to make all that make sense. And then we scroll down here. And we're also going to have to do the same thing for Twitter. NTT Twitter. NTT Facebook. That's all we need to do, because the instance value and all the other values are all going to be exactly the same. And then we come down to the form section, which for the widget, if you don't remember, again... Click on widgets. This is form right here. This is the form area that we're going to be editing. I'll we'll have to put NTT inside here as well. Just copy this, save myself some time. Paste, paste, paste. Okay, so those are all set properly. So let's scroll down into the form area where we said we were going before. And again, we're basically going to be doing the same exact thing again. In array, we're going to change this to NTT. And we're going to change Facebook. Then we're going to also change Twitter. This is NTT defaults. Remember, we went and defined this guy before with the dollar sign ahead of that. And this guy was defined in our install script. See, NTT defaults right here. And NTT defaults right here. So I'm just changing all these guys as well to NTT instead of their previous thing. And then down the side of here, we're going to change this to NTT title. And then change this to NTT title as well. NTT Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. And then after all that's done, and the form has been changed, I want to be able to go and set all those variables that I previously created. So I have to do that, I have to call settings, fields, and then provide the name, NTT, social, network, vars, and I created that right here, NTT, social, network, vars, see? So it's all right there, same, same exact area. And then I can actually call update option, NTT, title, and give it the value of the variables that we created right here. And how I do that is just call it NTT title, easy enough. And then I'm just going to copy this because it's the same. And I'm going to update the title and Facebook and everything else. Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter. Okay, so now all those variables are all saved, so that's great. So I'm going to scroll right down here, and I'm going to show you how to create the settings page, which is the page that you were sent to whenever you click on those little options right there. And what we're going to do is because whenever this is clicked, down here we defined we wanted to create a function or run this function right here. I have to copy that and create it. 
function. And there we go. Nothing's going to be passed to it. And just roll that down there. And it's scrolled up. So I decided that I want everything to be held inside of a div. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my PHP right here for that. And then I'm going to create a new div. And I'm going to put an h3 tag. And this is going to be the title for the page. And if I want this title to be translatable, I'm going to put underscore e inside of there. Then it'll translate into other languages automatically. And then I'm going to put a reference to the plugin name itself. So whatever you named your plugin would go into here. And then I'm going to close off that PHP code that I just put in there. Close off the h3 tag and put a break statement. Then you're going to have to define the different things that are going to go on the settings page. So what we just created was this in that previous line of code. Now we're going to create all of this stuff. And how you do that, this is always going to be the same. You call form method is equal to post. You're always going to do this exact line of code. And like I said, most of the things I'm doing here are going to be identical. Options.php. WordPress handles this for you, so you're always going to call this specific function. Then we have to jump back into the PHP code, call settings, field, and then what we're going to do is again pay reference to the block of variables that we saved so that we're able to use them in all of our different functions. And then we're going to define where they're going to be able to change the title and we want it to be translatable and we're going to start it off with title. I'm just going to copy this. This is a reference again to the plugin itself. We're going to create a little text box for them to enter their customized title that they may want and its name is going to be equal to NTT title and the value for it. I'm going to fetch a value based off of the defaults or whatever the current value is. I'm going to say echo and I'm going to call get option and I'm going to call NTT title. That's why we needed to use settings fields here. Close that guy off and put a break statement in there. And then guess what? We're going to do this pretty much identically three more times, or two more times, for Twitter and Facebook. So it's pretty much going to be the same thing, except I'm going to come in here and put Twitter in. And here I'm going to put Twitter in. And here I'm going to put Facebook. And here I'm going to put Facebook. And then I'm going to grab this guy. Oh, we don't need a space there. And I'm going to paste that in, because that is also going to be the same pretty much. And this is just the title, Twitter. ID and then this is going to be Facebook ID ID and then I'm going to create a submit button input type is equal to submit value is equal to PHP and then I'm going to say underscore and then this will just be what shows up on the submit button which is going to be submit NTT link to social networks close that off scroll that up close off my form close off my div and then reopen PHP to use and then as a final piece, what you need to do is to link all of these functions we just created onto hooks. So here we created our initialization hook. So what we're going to do is call add action. And here we're going to create our top level settings button. So I'm going to say when the admin menu is created, I want to call that function that's going to create that top level button. And this is just the function that is called to create that menu. And then I'm going to copy this, paste that in there, because this is going to be submenu. And nothing else needs to be changed. And then add action, admin, init, and to run my settings page. And to call the function that's going to register all my variables that I'm going to use across this entire plugin. I'm going to call NTT, register, options, and then close that off. And then there's the PHP code. And then you always want to make sure that there's no white space after that. But that is how you create both the settings page as well as these little sidebar options that are over here. How you print in language that will be easy to translate into other languages. And how to create variables that can be used across any function inside of WordPress. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And remember, get all the code if you don't understand it. It's heavily commented. Till next time.